good morning and welcome to Dawlish on the south coast of Devon. I've come down here today to shoot some uh, some wooden groins that go out into the uh, into the sea and these beach huts behind me. You see the row of colourful beach huts. It's not looking very colourful at the moment. This cloud's a bit uh, bit thick, but there is a nice little band of red on the horizon. There's a receding tide as well this morning, so fingers crossed I'll keep my feet dry, but that's probably not going to happen by the looks of it. So the shoot plan this morning is to get down onto the beach first, um, as you can see in the background behind me. If I can just tilt the camera up, those wooden groins that go out into the sea make a really good subject. I want to try some uh, long exposure photography this morning. So it should be pretty good. It's uh, it's looking okay. There's a nice little chink of uh, clear sky on the horizon. So I'm about half an hour or so away from sunrise at the moment. So it should be pretty good. I'm hoping even even if the sun doesn't appear, I should still get some nice photos here. And then after that, I'm hoping to come back and shoot these huts. That's the, that's the plan. Ideally, if this if this sky clears a bit and get some nice blue sky, get the polarizer on, and make the most of these beach huts. They've all been they've all been recently painted by the looks of it uh, within the last sort of, 12 months or so. So that's that's pretty good. So I'm going to uh, get down onto the beach and get set up and wait for that ever elusive sun. It's a little bit damp in the air this morning. It's getting a little bit uh, drizzly at the moment, but. Um, it should should clear up a bit. Uh, I'm not too worried. It's, uh, it's quite high cloud, so it's, I'm not going to get absolutely drenched by the looks of it. But the light's looking really nice this morning, even though it's a bit flat at the moment. It's uh, it's, it's ideal for this kind of photography that I've got in mind. So I've chosen this this first set of groins here. You can see in the background there, and it's got the little post at the end of the groins there. That makes a nice nice focal point, but it also gives me something to, to focus on. And also with the long exposure, it gives it a nice uh, nice subject for, the, for the, uh, the shot that I've got in mind. So let's go down and get set up. Because I've got a receding tide this morning, I want to set up and get some quick shots while, they're, while the water's still around the bottom of this, uh, this groin in the background here. It won't be long before the, the sun starts coming up and that tide starts receding right back. There's a number of groins along this beach, you can see in the distance there. They run quite a, quite a way along the beach and the beach arcs around as well, so the, the furthest ones will have, have more water up against them. See, so yeah, I'm going to quickly get set up and get some shots before this uh, the water recedes on this first one. Well, that was uh, unexpected. You can see the uh, the sun in that little gap that I was hoping for. It's, uh, it's not lasting long, but uh, I've managed to get a couple of frames, so I'm really happy with these so far. The waterproofing on my boots is still working, thankfully. A few rogue waves. But uh, yeah, this is good so far. So far, so good. I've got about a 10, between 10 and 15 second exposure here at F16 ISO 100. So I'm not needing to use a, a little stopper or to, you know, extend that exposure anymore. It's giving me just enough. I don't want to sort of blend it too much at the moment. I want to try and catch that, that sun and, and, and some of the movement in the waves as well. So 
that sun was pretty fleeting. It's disappeared up into the cloud now, which is a real shame. I was hoping for a bit more, a bit more of a blast of light, but I'm really pleased so far. Nice subtle colours, subtle light, so I can't complain so far. A little bit of a respite now while that sun's disappeared. There are some clearing patches above me here. The, the, the lower cloud is clearing and up above there's some nice blue sky. So within, I reckon within half an hour maybe, maybe a bit less, I should get some better light as well. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to shift down the beach a bit further and try and find a, another groin with this, this further out into the water. But yeah, I'm really pleased with this so far. It's, uh, it's turning out okay. I uh, left home at about 5 o'clock this morning, so um, an early start, but well worth it so far. Now before I forget, I must say a big thank you. I've hit that initial milestone on YouTube of a thousand subscribers. Woohoo! It's, uh, it's taken a long time to get there. The first video that I put out was probably about two years ago. I'll put a link to, to it here. Cringeworthy video, but just to show you where I started and uh, you know, all that, that, uh, that time that's gone past since I did that one. I'm, I'm, I hope things are getting better. Uh, but yeah, thank you for um, all those that have subscribed, uh, all those people that have commented and got involved with the channel and, and you've watched it as, as it's progressing. I've got loads more plans for videos uh, over, the coming, over the coming months and, and years, hopefully. I hope you enjoy what I'm putting out. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click away, hit the notification bell, and that will obviously uh, inform you when my, my videos are coming up. So we're in March now. The weather's been, well, diabolical at best over the last couple of months. So it's, I've not been out as much as I wanted to get out. But uh, yeah, this is a, this is a good uh, this is a good shoot so far this morning, and I've got lots more planned. I've I've got a trip planned at the end of March in Iceland. Me and my son. I've taken my son to Iceland. At the moment, I don't know if this trip's going to go ahead because of coronavirus. And obviously, safety first. I've got to take that into consideration for for, for the both of us. Um, but at the moment, things are okay. There's there's no sort of cancellations on the horizon as yet. So we're hoping to get out there at the end of March, right there for a week. So please, please join me while I'm out there. I'll be vlogging away, uh, me and my boy, on the uh, on the Icelandic shores. But for now, I'm going to uh, I'm going to move along a bit, wait for this light to uh, to improve a little bit more, and um, see what else I can get. And before I move a little bit further along the beach, I've got a nice shot set up here. I've got my 100 to 400 on very simple composition uh, there's still a little bit of light on the horizon and you've got the the distant headland there in the in the background it's just showing through I've got the little stopper on as well so I've got about a 20, 20 second exposure f11 I've bumped the ISO up to ISO 200 as well just to get that exposure right but it's uh, yeah it's looking quite nice I'm more used to using this the Canon EOS R now. The combination with that and the the 100 to 400 lens is great. It's it's a, it's a really nice combination. I've got this this shot set up here, zoomed right into the end of this the end of this groin here with a little marker post on the end. Uh, nice long exposure again with the uh, with the little stopper, which is a, a six stop filter. And I've got a, a polarizer on the front. It's fully polarised, it's taking the glare off the water, it's deepening the colours up, it's, it's having quite a nice effect. I've been using a grad as well, this, this particular shot I've taken the grad off now because the lights come up a bit more. Uh, but a, a three stop grad, uh, especially shooting towards the light, is giving me, uh, giving me a nice sort of balanced exposure then. Yeah, pretty pleased with this.
I'm walking a little bit further along the beach now. The, uh, the clouds are starting to break up above me. You can see on the horizon there, I've got a nice chink of blue sky coming through. See that gorgeous light there reflecting on the water. It's all looking good. The tide's receded quite a bit now, which is a shame, but uh, yeah, it's still looking good. It's still flowing around the ends of the uh, these groins here, so um, still pretty good. I've got some nice wet sand here as well where I am. This is looking pretty nice. I think I might go for a shot here. And you can see the light in the distance, see the light reflecting off the sand as well. It's looking, uh, looking pretty good. I think I might set up and take a shot here. Got some nice reflections here because of the wet sand. You can see all these groins here actually reflecting in the in the sand which is nice so I might go for a shot here I'm going to keep the, uh, the 100 to 400 on for, a, for the time being do something a little bit close up and abstract and then maybe some wider shots as well once that light comes through a bit more yes this is good one thing with sand and cameras camera bags and tripods they don't like sand so uh, and wet sand is even worse so I need to put my bag down over here somewhere on a bit of dry sand and then while I set this shot up. I've got a nice nice composition here. I'm going to use the, um, the little stopper again now just to bump that exposure time up. I want something a bit more abstract and nice and nice and blurry which is always good. So I've got the, uh, the little stopper on at the moment but it's only giving me let me just check I think it's giving me about six seconds which I'm not sure that's going to be enough so let's have a look yeah six seconds at f16 iso 100 and uh, that's with a little stopper so i think i'm going to change to the big stopper which is the 10 stop 10 stop filter and i've still got my polarizer on as well but even with that it's not giving me long enough i want a nice a nice sort of blurry effect around these groins reflecting in the sand. Okay, so let's put the uh, let's put the ten stop in place now. I've got a fifteen stop as well. These are Lee filters that I'm using. So I can I can afford now to take my aperture down a bit more. F eleven, maybe even F. Eight. Let's try that. 20 seconds. F8. ISO 100. Let's try that. Ah, oh, that's gorgeous. That's just what I wanted. And even got the bonus now of the light coming through at the top of the frame and reflecting in there. So yeah, that's really nice. I'm happy with that. I'll put this one up now. say I'm loving this uh, 100 to 400 lens it's it's great it's uh, I'm getting compositions that I don't normally try it's a nice long long telephoto length it kind of compresses the uh, compresses the scene so I'm, I'm, I'm seeing shots that I've done I'm quite a wide, I'm wide shooting you know, I'd like to shoot you know, at 17 mil normally that's my that's my favorite lens but uh, with, the, with this 100 to 400 I've only had it a few a few months now it's, um, it's opening up a whole load of new, new picture opportunities. I, I, I did borrow this lens from Canon uh, a while back, a few years back, um, and had a trial with it for, for a week or so. And uh, but having having purchased one now, it's yeah, it's definitely a, a useful lens. I did I did think about the 70 to 300, but it's not quite that reach. Uh, the, the 100 to 400, it's, it's given me. Uh, it's giving me a bit more reach and it's, it's giving me it's giving the shots a completely different feel. Uh, I don't know if I'm I don't know, but yeah, I'm really pleased with it. It's, it's really good. The light is, uh, light is coming up a bit more than that. It's, it's quite cloudy in the background you can see behind me here. There are a few chinks of blue. Um, just enough blue to patch a sailor's trousers, that's, that's the saying apparently. But, uh, 
Yeah, the sun's going to pop through in a minute. Um, I'm not going to be able to shoot straight into the sun. It'll be a bit too bright, I think. Uh, the tide's receding again quite a bit, so I'm, I'm just shooting some, some longer longer shots here, which are working out quite nicely. Yes, all in all, it's a good morning so far. It's, it's really good. Well worth the early rise. The lights, the lights gone a bit, a uh, bit naff at the moment. So um, I've come over a little bit further along the beach, back to this groin here. You can see in the in the background here. If I just tilt the camera up, this little pool here with the post in the pool. That's my foreground leading through to this marker post in the background here. Nice moody sky in the background. The colour's very flat at the moment. It's very colourless. So I think I'm going to convert this to black and white. I've taken two shots here which I'm going to blend together. The back side of these groins here are quite dark, so I'm not getting enough light there. I've got a grad down over the sky, but I need to, uh, need to boost that exposure up in the, in the back of the groins here, because otherwise it'll just go into shadow. So I've taken two exposures here, and I'll blend, blend the two together. And there's quite a lot of light reflecting at the end of the uh, where the post is there in, in the wet sand, so it's quite a tricky exposure. The grad's holding the sky in, thankfully. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll lift that up and probably convert this to black and white. It looks it looks looks a prime a prime shot for black and white. Well, I've taken both portrait and landscape versions of this. Um, I'll put them both up now. Let me know what you think. Whether you prefer the the portrait format or the or the landscape. Oh, that was good. I think I've exhausted my groins. <laughs> um, I'm going to walk back along to those beach huts now. The uh, the sky doesn't look like it's going to be doing much. There's a few chinks of blue still, but uh, I'm not not that hopeful that it's going to do much. It's there's not a lot of wind today, either, so the clouds are not shifting. So I'm going to take a walk back over to the uh, the beach huts and see if I can do anything there. The colour the colour of these huts. Is nice, would be nicer with a, a nice blue sky and a polarizer, but I don't think that's going to happen. So I might go for a bit of black and white. Let's get over there and uh, see what I can do. And what was I saying about that light? Unbelievable. It's, uh, it's one of those patches of blue is, uh, has paid off. And I'm just walking back to the huts and I've just spotted this on the way back. Nice long telephoto shot, I think. All the shadows and the, the groins going out there. Looks, looks quite nice, so I'm gonna stick the uh, 100 to 400 on and grab a shot of this while the light's good. I always pace to be prepared, that's why I always carry my camera out of the bag on my shoulder. This this light is really fleeting, even though it's come through, I've got that nice shot there, but it's uh, it's, it's in and out of cloud now, so I'm, I'm making the most of it. But uh, yeah, unexpected shot on the way back to the beach huts. Great stuff. was a bit of an impromptu stop but yeah I think it was well worth it I might have missed the light now on these beach huts but yeah I'm quite pleased with that shot it's one of those shots that you see let's see having my gear set up and ready to go I was able to capture that just love the, the play of the shadows on the sand nice tight composition with that 100 to 400 as well so yeah pretty pleased with that so let's get uh, set up on these beach huts now see if I can do something with this Okay, well, we're here by the beach huts and the rain started, which is a bit of a pain, but I think it's only a shower. So luckily, um, I'm here, I can take a little bit of shelter here, but not too much. So the order of the day here is, I think I'm gonna go probably black and white here, 
a uh, nice wide lens and um, yeah I'll set up in a minute when this rain stops and, and see what I can get. Alright I've got my 17-40 uh, to 40 on again now, my favourite lens. It's, this is working really well with a, with a wide angle. I've got this pink hut here in the, in the foreground. I've got a slight sort of quirky angle on this as well. I like shooting stuff like this with, with weird angles. The sweep of the, um, the pavement in, in front and the boards, these, um, these sort of boards in front of the, uh, the huts looks really nice. Uh, no, no direct sun at the moment, so I'm probably going to shoot both colour and black and white. But it's got a nice broody sky above, so with the black and white shot, I'm going to try and um, process it so I, I can boost that 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 really nice moody sky up as well. Now, while I've got my wide-angle lens on, I'm going to. Uh, going to try a few straight on shots as well now of all the colours I think the yellow is the it's probably the brightest um, so I think I'm going to try a, a shot of that sort of straight on as well with this lens to finish off I've put my 100 to 400 lens on zoomed in a nice tight crop on the huts, so I'm going to try a couple of shots with these. Well, I think that was a very enjoyable morning as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's been pretty good some really nice shots there I'm really pleased with this let me know what you think comment away uh, but yeah it's been great really enjoyed it I'm, uh, I'm going to wrap up now and head back home it's starting to rain again now so I need to go and wash my tripod feet off and head back to the uh, back to the van and then back for breakfast so yeah thanks for um, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one